how the hell are you getting so many confessions? Like what, what's your, how are you, how, what's your trick? Empathetic listening. Okay, explain it. what that means. You listen to somebody. People want to tell you the truth. I really believe that. I believe everybody's good. I really believe that. And people think I'm stupid for believing that. But I really believe everybody's good. And when you do something wrong, people want you to know. They want to tell you. They want to disclose that to you. So you just have to find some sort of vehicle to get them to do that. And so what I do, I just sit there and I talk to them like human beings. And some of these people have never been talked to like human beings. So if you get a guy that come in there dirty and, you know, he's on drugs and he's, you know, killed a couple of people and he's all screwed up. First thing they expect for somebody to treat him like he's been treated the rest of his life. So first thing I do, I usually keep toothbrushes and washcloths and soap in my desk drawer. I would take him to the bathroom, clean him up. Wow. Once. And I tell him, hold your head up. You know, hold your head up. You don't have to, don't hold your head down. Everybody does something wrong, you know. And I say, you're here because you did something wrong. But we're going to talk about it. And I would give them their rights and, and really advise them on their rights. And let them know that you got the right for this and right for that and everything else. And then just start talking to them about, you know, where did they go wrong? And I always like talking to, I call it the nine-year-old. But I always talk to that younger person before, you know, everybody go bad at some time or first time you tell a lie or something. Everybody, you know, go through that stage in their life. But I always talk, try to talk to that person before they went through that and find out you who find they were. find their inner child, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. And then find out, you know, what went wrong? You know, did somebody That's screw up you. Yeah. And bad people, things that people who have bad things done to them normally do bad things to other people. And so I just kind of like, you know, you find some kind of way, you know, if we have a minimization rule, some way to minimize and say, you know, maybe you did that because, you know, of alcohol or something like that. And it is some circumstance. Maybe they did it because they were on drugs or they were enraged at the time or, or, you know, something happened in their childhood. But you just talk to them and people will reveal what the whole issue is. And they'll tell you the truth. Wow. Yeah, I really believe that.